everyone, it's me, Keep It Quiet, and you can see my shadow there. But today I have another Easy Bake Oven video, and today we're going to be making yellow cake with chocolate frosting. And these are just the included mixes again. So let's get started. What you'll need to make the cake is your two bowls with the chocolate frosting yellow cake mix, your two spoons. But we're going to do one at a time. Your pan pusher, of course, every time. Your one teaspoon and half teaspoon um, measuring spoon, so just these two. Some water, your baking pan with parchment paper and greased, and the optional sprinkles. Let's get so let's started and make the cake, and make sure your oven is preheated right here for 15 minutes. So take the thing or the packet and dump out all the contents. And I'm squishing the clumps like always, so now you're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of water. So here's the half teaspoon, then the one teaspoon. So add that in and then mix up the contents or mix everything up. Mix up the batter, and this is gonna be optional, but I feel like adding a half teaspoon of sprinkles so the cake batter will look nice so just mix the that batter all done so now get your pan and put all the batter in here and sadly this only makes one cake so just put all the batter in there spread it out all the batter as best as i can it is a bit thick so now put it in the oven and it says to Pick for about 12 minutes, so we'll see you in 12 minutes. See you guys again. So we're gonna do the chocolate frosting now. So dump out your contents in another bowl, or just use the same bowl as before. Doesn't matter. Put it out and again squ um, squish the clumps. And after you, after you do that, add half a teaspoon of water and mix it all up. Turns out here's the frosting and it isn't too bad so we won't be using the warming cup so now I'm just gonna wait for the cake and we're gonna frost exactly it. Exactly 12 minutes so I'll push the cake out now. On to this side we're gonna take the cake out and you can already see it. It does look a bit rustic but I still think it's really good. Make sure to let the cake cool before flipping it out and frosting it. So I'm gonna let mine cool and then we're gonna guys, frost it. As you can tell I ended up making two cakes because they were really thin and I don't think they'll look good. So now we're gonna go, um, start frosting the cake. Um, half the frosting, I'm gonna get my tool and spread it out and then we're gonna put the second layer on. I finished frosting it out and of course my sister is helping too. So now take your other cake and put it on upside down. And this might not look the best, but we're just gonna put the rest of the frosting on top. I, I don't want to do the sides, but I guess that's okay because that would be too much frosting. So we'll be back. Sister is gonna add the finishing touch. So she's just gonna add a couple more sprinkles then we're gonna cut into the cake finishing cake and I know it doesn't look the best but that is the best we can get because the cake is so thin so let's cut into it new. I'm just gonna use the same tool. I hope this doesn't look too bad. So here is the slice. Here's the cake after we cut it. I know you can't see the exact layers but me and my sister are gonna give it a try. The cake tastes really good. What about you? Mm, very good. Well, I think this recipe was really good. It's just that it doesn't look as nice. I have some frosting on my fingers, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. And I will have um, more homemade recipes or some recipes with kicks, um, cake mixes. So be waiting for those. Bye. Bye.